There's only a few of these all-inclusive beginner kits that give you everything you need to fly in the package. The controller, the goggles, the drone, the charger, the batteries, everything. See, man, they got headphones and everything. Oh, wow. I'm talking about plug it in and fly. And this is one of the few that lets you go straight to the end, pay to unlock. I don't want to buy our own shit for that. But who's going to fly it, kid? HD system with HD zero on board. And this is my number one recommendation for the foreseeable future. Emacs isn't about making the fastest, it's about making high quality and the most controllable. As you can see, flying this thing for one of the first times in my house, I'm really not crashing. I'm putting it exactly where I wanna go and I'm not using my $600 remote. I'm using the one that Emacs gives you and for a budget price, it's actually really good. And the fact that it's Express LRS means that if you do graduate to a more higher quality controller, you can still use this drone without changing a thing. You just change over and bind it to that new radio and boom, you'll be ready to go. This version of the Emacs Tiny Hawk 3 Plus does have an adjustable camera so you can give yourself a low camera angle for flying slow, controllable inside. Do want to take it outside, get a little bit more range on this sucker. You just crank it up for a little bit more speed and the 650 milliamp hour battery does does mean that you're gonna get a little bit of a flight time. So for me flying a brisk indoor pace, I got about two and a half, two minutes and 40 seconds of flight time. You can see this flight I landed. It says I was landing around 3.5, but when I put it in the charger, it was actually 3.8. So I could have flown for a little bit longer, probably about three minutes. If you're just cruising, I would say flying a little bit slower, you could probably bump that up to about four minutes. And if you're outside really pushing it, maybe reduce that down to about two minutes. The single cell batteries for this are gonna be fairly inexpensive. You can buy yourself a pack. There are several 600 to 650 milliamp hour options available. The kit does come with one, but you're probably going to want to go buy yourself another. So I'll give you an option for one that you can buy. The charger can charge two of these batteries at once. Just great. A lot of these kits don't always come pre-bound. So you buy them, you think you're about to fly, you get so excited, you put the goggles on your head and nothing happens. And that's frustrating because you have to go through a bunch of manuals. You have to learn about drones in order to get your first flight. Not so with this kit. You literally plug the battery in, turn the controller on, follow the instructions that are actually on the radio. Why don't more companies do this? You hit the arm switch and guess what? It arms. Now, one of the nice things that this Tiny Hawk 3 Plus HD kit allows you to do is try your hand out it, get started for a much lower price. And you're gonna have HD zero version like this or analog, depending on what your budget allows. Now, the significant thing, these HD zero goggles do perform better, but this setup that I'm holding right here cost over $700, whereas this entire kit costs less than that. We'll have the price next to the link in the description that you can click and buy this and it'll give a little bit of a kickback to the channel. Now, if you don't feel like buying this, go click that Amazon link that I'm going to have and just go ahead and buy yourself like 17 refrigerators. It really helps the channel. Thank you for clicking. You could also buy a very expensive radio like this. This would also cost you over $700. If you're telling you Hawk 3 Plus HD Zero version. One of the things that I really like that they do is that they actually label everything here. So you have a beginner mode, an intermediate mode, and an expert mode, which is full acro for your experienced pilots. But you can keep it in beginner mode if you just want to take it easy and learn how to fly. Then you have your disarm defaulting to the up position and arm going down. This is flip over mode or turtle mode. I say he'll flip you. He'll what? Flip you. Flip you for real. And this is your beeper. So if you did take this outside, got it lost in some grass, you can activate this and it'll beep for you so that you can find it. I really like that both the controller and the goggles both charge with USB-C. This eliminates all of the most difficult steps into learning how to fly your first drone. In fact, a lot of people spend so much time trying to connect their controller. A lot of people just never are able to get it connected and they give up without ever flying their first battery. Now, what pieces may you replace down the line? You probably will want to upgrade to like this more premium Radio Master 
boxer right there this of course is going to cost much more but this actually feels pretty good in the hand the goggles you can use for a decent amount of time but it's not going to give you the reception of the full hd zero goggles but this costs a fraction of that amount so if you want to dip your toe the nice thing about this though is that if you do decide to keep these goggles you can either sell them to recoup that cost later the nice thing about these is that the screen comes off and you can take this as a field monitor to be able to give someone a ride along or to spectate another person flying so if i were to plug this in guess what it's automatically going to tune in to the channel that's being broadcast by this tiny little drone and then we'll instantly get tuned in to the video feed right here and you can see me recording this wow look at that look at that technology right there guys it's so easy your controller is already bound and you have the auto search function feature on the goggles itself so as soon as you power it up you're going to be able to see through the camera and you can focus all of your time on trying to learn how to fly in addition to those pieces you get a usb-c cable that you can use to charge charger that just plugs into usb tiny little screwdriver some extra battery holder things and then you have this bracket mounting system so that you can actually mount the screen onto the controller if you're more familiar flying in this type of a fashion 36.5 grams if you add the 650 milliamp hour 1s battery now we're looking at 51.5 grams part of what i always loved about this series is just the versatility in what you could get out of such a small package it has the same type of construction this isn't going to be banging up your walls it's probably not going to be breaking your tv but if you hit something going full speed you are going to hear it a little bit more with this much weight it's still light enough to where you don't have to worry about it hitting a, a pet or a person and causing them any type of an injury but if your wife is prone to being very particular about the type of scuffs that get on her walls you just may be kicked out of the house on this but to offset for that they are giving you a larger size battery so on a windy day this would actually do a little bit better as far as being able to maintain control so it's a different type of flying craft more of an exploratory being able to maybe do a few tricks being able to fly around have a good time flight time maybe slightly lower on something that is this size and weight with this amount of power and this size battery all in all this is the top option if you want to go straight to hd and you don't want to have to assemble your own kit buy your own gear this is the best option on the market so beginners take note they also have a less expensive analog version version if you would prefer to start that way and that's also a really good option as well so what are you going to do in the comments are you looking to buy a little hd drone system like this emax is actually upgrading this tiny inexpensive radio to express all the rest so you'll be good to go and future proof as you start upgrading some of these components they'll be able to work with the more modern style radios as you graduate along through the hobby and if you don't you haven't spent that much you can sell it or hand it off to somebody else give it to somebody else to get addicted to that sick money stealing addiction of fpv thanks guys